I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the Mishimoto Aluminum Performance Radiator fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers. Today we're going to talk about the construction and of course the installation of this radiator. This radiator is going to be for those of you who need to replace your factory existing radiator because it is leaking, but I would not recommend this for those of you who are having overheating problems. If your TJ or YJ are overheating, chances are you have a problem with either the water pump, the thermostat, or need to have the coolant system properly flushed. And I would recommend those fixes before I go and spend big money on a performance radiator like this. While this radiator is designed to be very efficient, the OE radiator is more than optimal to cool almost any YJ and TJ in any off-road or on-road conditions. However, if you are looking for a all aluminum radiator, this one from Mishimoto is a very high quality option. This radiator is made from brazed aluminum and it has polished end tanks. The radiator has a 0.89 gallon capacity and Mishimoto claims a 20% increased efficiency in cooling over your factory radiator. This will work with both automatic and manual transmissions because it does have a transmission cooling tank on the bottom of it and a couple of different adapters to work with your factory automatic trans cooler. Now, as I mentioned before, the OE radiator is going to be more than sufficient for most TJs and YJs in most driving conditions. In fact, the factory radiator is an aluminum core radiator, so it shares a lot of similarities with this radiator. Of course, the factory radiator does have plastic tanks where this one has aluminum, so that is going to be an upgrade for this radiator over the factory. Getting this radiator installed in your Jeep is going to be a very simple process because it's designed to install just like your OE radiator. So the first step is to get that old radiator out of the way. To do that, you'll want to first drain the system by using the petcock on the factory radiator, then pull the upper and lower coolant lines, and finally your trans cooler lines if you have an automatic transmission. After that, it's just a matter of removing the fan shroud and the bolts that hold the radiator onto the core support, then you can lift it out through the top. After that, you can drop your new radiator in, being careful not to bend or break any of the new fins, and then reinstall it in the opposite steps that you uninstalled the factory one. Bolt the radiator to the core support, reinstall your fan shroud, reattach those automatic trans coolant lines if you have them, and the upper and lower rad hoses. While you have the radiator out, this is a really good time to do a full coolant flush. Regardless, when you refill the radiator, you'll want to make sure that you're refilling it with the proper type of coolant, which should be the same type of coolant you had in the system before. There are a few types of coolant out there these days, and you certainly don't want to mix and match. If you have a TJ, this is also a really good time to blow out your heater core to make sure you're getting maximum heating in the cab. So once you have the system all hooked up and filled back up, you can bleed the cooling system in a couple of different ways. There are pressure bleeders that you can use, but the more old school way that is tried and true is to park the Jeep on a slight uphill, leave the radiator cap off, and let the Jeep idle. As it comes up to temperature and the thermostat opens, it'll cycle all of the air out through the top of the radiator, and as long as you continue to top it off and keep your overflow tank full, you'll get all the air out of the system, no problem. This whole installation will probably take you around two hours, maybe a little bit more by the time you get everything bled out, but you won't need any specialty tools, just a few gallons of coolant and some hand tools to get everything installed. As I mentioned before, an OE replacement radiator is going to be more than sufficient for most TJs and YJs. Even in the harshest desert off-road environments, they're going to be more than enough to keep your engine cool if your coolant system is in good condition. However, if you are looking to replace your radiator with one that's all aluminum and doesn't have the plastic tanks that the OE radiator has, I think this is a really nice option. Of course, you are going to pay significantly more than an OE replacement for this all aluminum radiator from Mishimoto. You're going to be about three times the cost of an OE radiator for this option. So if you're looking to replace your OE radiator with an all aluminum version, I think this one from Mishimoto is definitely worth a second look. This is going to be significantly more expensive than an OE replacement, but you are getting an all aluminum radiator. So that's my review of the Mishimoto Aluminum Performance Radiator fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.